Good morning, how are you today? In the studio today, I'm back to painting. I know I talked about negativity yesterday and three o'clock this morning when I was lying in bed just thinking about this and not being able to go to sleep, I realised that I don't have a choice in having these negative influences in my life but I do have a choice in whether to internalise it and hold it in which I always find that it doesn't go anywhere, it just builds and builds and builds or I can externalize it and channel it into something more productive about this feeling and frustration and negativity that I'm going through. So that's what I'm doing today. I started off with just a biro and started scribbling away and I did this one first, which it's fine, but it's kind of boring. And then I painted this. Well, I actually drew the cross hatches first and just as I was thinking about how to do this video, I just gave it a nice coat of purple on top. And I really liked the energy of the black lines. And so what I did was do two squares like this. Was it that way? Maybe? I don't know. I don't really like this one, but I really, really like this one. So I and I felt like when I did this, I was like, oh, that's a little painting. I want to do more. So what I'm going to do today is to create this as a Patreon painting with maybe a second version for the $50 tier that looks more like this. I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do for the second version, but for the main version, it's definitely going to be this because I really like the energy of it and it's therapeutic, right? There's there's a reason why we have art therapy and this is definitely in the art therapy category. This isn't the one that's going to be sent out this week to all the patrons that joined or that has paid for the July subscription. That painting I did yesterday. So that's already done. And this is going to be for the people who pay for this month in August that goes out in early September. Normally I wait till towards the end of the month, partly so that I know how many paintings to make. But since I have this inspiration, I'm just going to roughly guess how many I'm going to need for next month and hopefully I get it right. Basically, I'm going to do the number I did this month and then add a few on top for luck. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be painting. I hope you guys like this. First up, I did the red background for the majority of the paintings. In case you don't know, I always make two versions around the same theme for each month for Patreon paintings. And that is because for the normal tier of either the $15 or the $25, you get one painting. But if you go for the $50 tier, you actually get two paintings and I want to make sure that the $50 patrons get two different varieties around the same theme. So with the one that I'm painting the most number of, I started off with a red background and I chose Holbein's Pyro Robin for that. I felt that really expressed the anger and the frustration I've been feeling over the last few days. And so I'm just roughly putting squares of the pyro rubin down. This is actually the first month I've ever painted a Patreon original paintings without having a masking tape border. I felt that the rough edges, and I went really rough on the edges to make it more organic and more, dare I say emotional? Definitely more rebellious. It's me trying to express my rebellious side of rebelling from all the comments and the controllingness that I've been experiencing over the last few weeks. And I've made it not even. I like having the white gaps there. So that's what I've done with these pieces. Question, am I the only one that gets this splatter when they are painting? I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but whenever I paint, I get these splatters everywhere and you can see that this is where I normally have my paint palette and you can see all the splatters. I don't know how to stop it. If you know how to stop it, please do let me know. 
and then while the red ones were drying I started on the second set of paintings which I wanted to do the lines first and then put a wash of colour over which is the opposite method to what I'm doing with the red ones. I first did the line work and just doing the crosses hit on six pieces and then I came to do some colour swatches because I didn't quite know what colour I wanted. I didn't quite like the test piece I did with the purple that I showed you and with this piece I wanted to express kind of like the sadness of this person doing this negative controlling thing to me now when we've built a really good and strong relationship so the red ones expresses the anger and i wanted these pieces to express the sadness i'm feeling as well and i actually ended up going with two colors the dioxin purple by dino smith and the indanto and blue by dino smith as well and i really really like how these pieces turned out they almost have a scottish feel to it i don't know if the crosses kind of melt into a tartan pattern they also kind of remind me a little bit of heather i don't really know i don't have a logical reason why they are reminding me of these things but they are and i really like them i'm really glad i went with two colors and then all i had to do was do the cross work for the red paintings and oh, let me tell you, these were so cathartic to do and so nourishing to do, to just get the physical energy, the negative energy that's been whirling around me out into the physical world and out of my internal system. And this is really the first time I've painted, I've created paintings based on how I was feeling, just the raw emotional side of it. I kind of feel quite vulnerable to share this with you guys and to share this with my patrons because it's a little bit different from what I normally do. Normally it's about colour, whereas this is more about emotions and raw. And I had a bad experience back in school when in art GCSE I created something that expressed how I was feeling back then which I went through a lot of abuse both well all of the kind of abuse the physical emotional and sexual abuse as I was growing up and I was creating a piece that felt or looked how I felt and I was told by the art teacher that it was too emotional and that I wasn't I was being too emotional with the piece and it wasn't logical enough and I was like well what is that if it isn't emotion so I have this scar again and that the negative one that's kind of flaring up because all the negative things happening at the moment and I feel scared to be sharing such a negatively emotionally charged pieces with you guys I hope you guys you guys don't have to like it but if you i don't know i don't know what i would want from you guys maybe i don't want anything from you guys you guys can just take it for what they are but as an artist and as someone that's going through a, a really hard time right now this is something that's important for me to do and i think that's a really good position to be in emotionally because that's way less codependent than going, oh, I need you to accept this and love this. And no, what I needed from these pieces were to get my energy out, these negative energies that's been eating me away in the inside out of my system. And I've done that, so I'm really happy with them. I'm really happy with these paintings. And I'm just really happy that I feel better for having outputted my negative energy that was going around me. I'm also really happy with how these paintings turned out and the two different emotions that I wanted them to portray. Even though it's using the same technique, I feel that the two are very different. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me cathartically paint away my negativity out of my life. 
thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video bye